Hi, I'm Ashujit Kaur Anand. I'm the clinical director at PCMH Restore Health at Sheshadripuram, Bangalore. I'm also the director and co-founder of Aviksha, which is a home-based primary care program at PCMH Restore Health. My expertise is in palliative care and geriatric care. We provide home-based services for those who are in need of it. So the diagnosis depends upon the signs and symptoms and the examination which a doctor conducts and then a certain test which is confirmative for knowing if it is a coronavirus infection. So the coronavirus is a zoonotic virus and as the name says corona which means the crown in Latin. Why the name came is the virus has a center genetic material at the center with an envelope at the periphery and this envelope has certain protein spikes which appear like a crown for the virus and hence the name coronavirus. This coronavirus normally is found in animals and is transmitted to humans through animals in various ways by being in close contact with animals, people who deal with the animal in the market or those who breed cattle or it could be that people who handle animals like even you should be careful with pets at home doesn't mean that pets are carrying the virus but always remain safe by preventing yourself from getting the infection and this is a respiratory mostly it presents as a respiratory symptom the viral infection or a gastro infection but most often which is commonly seen is the respiratory infection which appears as fever, cough, cold, shortness of breath. It could end up as a pneumonia as well. So detailed physical examination by a doctor and if the doctor suspects it to be a coronavirus, he asks for a test called a PCR. PCR is a polymerase chain reaction where the genetic material is picked up from the virus and studied and which is like a fingerprint for the virus and that's how it is identified if it's a coronavirus and that's the only diagnostic test for coronavirus.